It's honestly a slap in the face because I am a taxpayer. I have to babysit every other weekend and sometimes that's not enough. When, not, when the, a family doesn't need my assistance, I can't work. I saw a leader on social media and he was bragging about how they got $100 million more for the migrants. And I'm just like, I'm all for, you know, legal migration, but I'm like... And doing it the right I, way. Yeah, we love everybody, you know, but I'm like, we are, um, we're being last, you know, we're being crushed. The middle class are the ones that are hurting. That bracket where we make too much to get help <laughs> and we make enough to where we still feel the pressure of gas prices. You know, when you take a look at what's going on, electricity, 25% increase, auto insurance up 33%, used cars up 35%, hotels up 15%, groceries, this matters, up 25%. And this is a big one. You need... $11,434 additional just to maintain the same living standard that you had in 2021. Did y'all get a raise? No. no. Between now and then? But that, that's what's happening. And those between 40 and 49 years old, highest credit card debt ever balancers are averaging $7,600 because people are living on their credit cards, right? They're, they're maxing those out. Rent is up 30%. Mortgage rates doubled. It's getting worse, not better. So what do you tell yourself about what you're gonna do, how you're gonna go about climbing out of this? Because we're headed in the wrong direction. For us, we have to prioritize. We have to say something. We have bills that overlaps. You know, the cell phones, they can wait. We got to pay the rent. That has, that's first. Food has to be on the table first. So we prioritize. So you just tackle the major stuff and leave the, you get to the other stuff when you can. You say you're frustrated that people aren't listening. The people that are in office aren't listening. I tell people, if we ran our household like the government did, we'd be in jail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you can't go to jail because it costs too much. <laughs> it costs $50,000 a year to put somebody in jail, and that system's broke. Yeah. And you've got two hardworking Americans here. You have children. You're working hard. They're good kids. You're good parents. But every time your daughter talks about her dreams, you got to be thinking, oh, honey. <laughs> uh. Like, not to say of our country right now is disgusting. We're definitely angry at the government. We pay taxes for illegal immigrants, for the homeless, and for people that aren't even working. And we're people that are working and are barely surviving. I'm angry at our leadership. The American people deserve better. We're taking care of everybody. What about us? We need help. I'm angry at the system that has failed us over and over and over again. We're being crushed. So what about us? Where is our help? That's the question many fully employed Americans are desperately asking. Why? Because their paychecks are barely enough to keep up with the inflated cost of food, gas, and the roof over their family's heads. And when we look at what's going on, it's shocking. They talk about the fact that the big problem in America is income, inequality. And my position is the big problem in this country is income equality, not inequality. And I'll tell you why. I've broken this up into the bottom 20% of income earners, the second 20% of income earners, and the next 20% of income earners. And what you're going to notice is in the bottom 20%, these people, only about 33% of them work at all. And as a result, they make about $7,500 a year. On average, that's what they earn. The next 20%, 85% of them are employed full time. And they earn about $31,000 a year. Okay. 
where these people earn about 7,500. But when the government gets through with the entitlement programs, look at the difference. Wow. $1,000 difference. So here's my question psychologically. Why would you work? <laughs> Seriously, I'll bet you in terms of net purchasing power, these people have more. Why? They don't spend money on commuting. They don't spend money on wardrobe. They don't have any overhead because they don't do anything. <laughs> these people 90 plus percent work and they earn $66,000 on average, but because they pay actual taxes, they only net 61. So the difference between here and here is only $11,000. We're paying people not to work. Now, is it just me? Or is the system turned on its head? And these guys are not working one job. They're not working two jobs. They're not working three. They're working four jobs. And they're making...